Yo, what's good guys? This is JD here. Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Normally Spend Road to Glory. And today we've got one of those fun videos where we spend a lot of MT. It's about a 500 to 600,000 MT spending spree today. And you can see by the title and probably the players in the thumbnail, we've gone for two very good players. Two guys from the radioactive set, Galaxy Opal Giannis and Galaxy Opal Andre Kirilenko as well. So we're going to be switching around the team just a little bit today, adding those two guys in, telling you guys about the price I got. I think I've got a really good price on them, both of them, hopefully. Uh, we've got our weekly pack to open up, our weekly Flash 8 pack. We've done this challenge here, so we've got that to open up. We've also got a few packs which we'll get to in the not-too-distant future. Uh, and then Triple That Online, we did a whole board yesterday. We dunked in it like it tells us to. It says Triple That Online dunk. We did one game, we did 11 dunks in the entire game, and only won by dunking, and uh, that still wasn't enough to uh, get us anything. So, who knows what that's all about. Glitch market is still just a mystery to us. We don't have it. Um, and let's talk about another thing, which is a mystery. So, one thing that isn't is on Sundays over on Twitch, you guys know, we do giveaways. We do one giveaway on a Sunday night, every night, on every night, every Sunday night, on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover. And this week, it is a dark matter DeMar DeRozan giveaway. So, about 350 to 400k by the looks of this. Has somebody really paid 47k extra? Or 37k extra for 55 contracts? Bro, you're tripping. Um, so 2k, you obviously usually give me the card uh, to show off to you guys. But uh, they've given me three customer service packs. So this is a genuine mystery. I have absolutely no idea what's in these packs. It should be a dark matter the Rosen and that that animation right there just hit me again. Like I am so not used to seeing that dark matter animation. That is so sick, and I really really hope that one day I get that in an actual pack. Uh, but here we go. So we get the Rosen coming out of this one. So we will be using him in tomorrow night's Twitch stream as well. You can win on any console. Doesn't matter what console you're on, as long as you're in the stream at the time I am live, and that is going to be at 8 p.m. BST, which is 3 p.m. Eastern time. So there's our DeRozan. So then the question is, what's in these other two? They usually only send me one customer service pack, which obviously just has one DeRozan in it. And I've got another one. Is it is it another DeRozan or is it just going to be a Kareem? And then what's in the other one? Like, I'm so confused. It's another DeRozan. Oh, no. Why have you sent me so many DeRozans, 2K? Why have you done this? Oh no, okay, so that's that's two Dark Matter DeRozan cards. Oh no, it's going to be a third one. Uh, oh, I can't discard him on video because everybody will hate me. So I'll do that later on. Um, and then uh, is this going to be a 3P of DeRozans? Is this going to be a 3P of Dark Matter Glows? Oh my god, it is. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, something's gone wrong somewhere. Um, I'll, I'll try and tell 2K what's happened so they don't um, don't make this a regular occurrence. But uh, a 3P of DeRozans. How about that? So, now we've got that out of the way. If you want to win one DeRozan, uh, do come through to Twitch on Sunday night. But anyway, now that's out of the way, let's jump into it today, boys. If you are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Daily streams and daily videos. And huge thank you to the goats of the channel for their support. Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Liam, Josh, Trevor... Kieran, and a special shout out to my guy, Aiden. Right, XP. Today is another day, another level. You love to see it, level 31. Uh, it's actually the first day we're going to miss a daily agenda. And the reason for that is I'm not going to do these agendas here either. These are going to disappear as well. So we're going to fall behind. You know, we're not going to be first to JR, but, you know, people have already got JR. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm not really too pressed about it, I'll be honest. Uh, in terms of win the weekend, we've played two games of Limited, and we'll talk about Limited in a second, but uh, yeah, it's something. Uh, but we have gone ahead and done Kelly Oubre Jr.'s challenges. So thankfully, we had a Dwight Howard for this right here. We had the Pink Diamond Dwight Howard from the uh, Double Take set, I think. Um, so yeah, that allowed us to unlock this set, and obviously we can now add Kelly Oubre into our squad, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're through to week two, group three as well, so that's a bit of progress there. And we got 1,250 XP from Domination for completing 15 games. So we're just on the halfway mark, pretty much, in Domination, which is a very nice indeed. So we've come over here, we've done set one, two, and three. So three sets to go, and then the three games at the end, not doing too badly. And like I said, we have done the weekly challenge 
as well. In terms of online things, I said we did a whole board yesterday after the online. Big sad, nothing to show for it. And also we had a diamond consumable pack on one of the boards, but uh, obviously we didn't get either of those. And again, we didn't see any Julius Randles. Now, as for limited, now yesterday I told you guys I'd played one game, and uh, you know it was it was fun because it was new and whatever. Um, after playing some more today, I don't know how I feel about it, but I don't think I really enjoy it. Um, obviously, everybody is so slow. It's just a three-point fest. Like you go down the floor, you hit a three, your opponent comes down. They hit three. It's just a three-point contest, basically. Um, nobody's really quitting out of games because the scores never really get that too crazily um, dis or crazy disparity in scores because everyone can just score so easily. So I don't know. I don't think I'm really liking this weekend. And uh, a lot of people have been saying that they've been taking, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 games to find a ring. If that's the case, then... I I'm not going to do it, and uh, we'll, we'll bow out of the Rashad Lewis um, even before we even know the stats on him, which is a bit of a pain. Like, I don't really want to do that before we know his stats, but hey, if 2K don't want to make it, or may want to make it that hard to get the card, then uh, that is a no from me. Right, we've got a few packs to open up. Flash 7, uh, nothing in that one, and that's going to be a Danny Green and Quindary. What name was that? I have no idea. Uh, and then we've got the weekly pack, weekly challenge pack, which is Flash 8, so... Uh, DeRozan on the pack. We've seen DeRozan three times today, and we don't see him for a fourth time. Can you imagine? Uh, and then we've got the Kelly Oubre Jr. to add in as well. Again, not a bad card at all. Pretty good card. Is he ever going to start for me? No. Um, is he to do with the dunks in Triple the Online? To do with the Tai Lu and the glitch mark? I don't know. I think I'm fairly confident people have tried that and debunked that, so... As far as we're aware right now, it is just purely luck based. There's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no method or anything like that. Um, it is just a good old RNG from 2K. But there we go. There is Kelly Oubre Jr. joining the team. Very nice indeed. Right. We've made some big purchases. So our unlimited team right now is looking like this. So we've got Don Ola the one. Very happy with him. Luca is better, but you know. We don't need to have Luca there right now. Kawhi Leonard, Billy Cunningham, Weston Sell, D-Rob. And off the bench, Dwayne Wade, Clyde the Glide, and Moses Malone. Now, this Billy Cunningham, obviously, we got him from the Essential Board the other day. I've never really used him, to be fair. But he's not really a card that like, I want to have on my team. He doesn't really... I don't really look at that card and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's an exciting card to use. I'm just like, oh, it's Billy Cunningham. So, uh, two cards from the Radioactive set that, obviously, we've been eyeing up for a little while. Giannis... Scary big boy Giannis and uh, Andre Kirilenko as well. And I feel like we've got a good price on both of them. So this AK right here does have one extra Hall of Fame badge and he's selling for 160k. This Giannis, I mean, you've got a one that's bare bones right here for 375, 373, 400k on this one. We've got a good price and I hope I can remember exactly how much I paid for these cards. So Andre Kirilenko, we have got one with a... Can we get out of here without... Okay, I couldn't get out of there without... <laughs> without spoiling the Giannis price. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at this Andre Kirilenko. So, we've got 15,000 MT as a refund. He does have a diamond shoe. It's not a three-point shoe, but he does have a diamond shoe. And he also has uh, Hot Zone Hunter added to him, which is about the only actual badge that he needs. Now, I think I put a max bid of 165k on this card. So, I think I'll go in for 150k flat. And 150k with a diamond shoe and with Hot Zone Hunter... I'm alright with that. These are the badges that you can hold. Stop and go, ice in veins, deep phase, deep hooks, flash pass and worm. So, uh, nothing too crazy right there. I will give him worm, to be fair, because, you know, board man, board man. We'll upgrade that. I don't have a Hall of Fame worm, so I'm happy to do that there. Okay, so I'll upgrade that later on. But I think that is going to be a very good addition to the team. 6 foot 9, 92 driving layup, 85 driving dunk is a little bit low, and I'm probably going to get a shoe that boosts that. The shoe that this guy put on him, mid-range, ball control, pass accuracy, and speed. Speed. I'd, I'd much rather have a three-point uh, driving dunk boost on him. Sorry. So, got driving dunk, free throw, speed of ball, standing dunk, vertical. Well, that's not really, not really the shoe that we want to see. Uh, driving dunk, driving layup, perimeter defense, and speed. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, we mm, block driving dunk. No, we don't like that at all. Defensive consistency and close shot, both useless there. Ball control, draw foul. Uh, again, close shot is dead, and then draw foul. Uh, it's not great. Mid-range on there, but post moves, and no, no, we don't want that. Driving dunk, ooh, there we go. 
There we go. That's the shoe what we want to see. Driving dunk, perimeter defense, and three-point shot. There we go. And I know it's got passing, vision, and close shot, which are dumb, dumb dead, but it gives him two big boosts. So 97-3 now, and an 88 driving dunk with 98 perimeter defense. Ooh. And look at that defense on this card. Look at that defense. I've just got 90 ball control as well. Really nice rebounding and 93 speed acceleration and 98 lateral quickness. Boy, that card is looking very nice. And speaking of a card that looks very nice, we have got the small matter of uh, selling JJ Barea. But then we've got a Galaxy Opal Giannis. And you can see right there, 36,500 MT refund. So my max bid, uh, I think, was 400k. So that means we got him for 460 5k 365k so 365k on a Giannis card now it is a it is a basic one i'm not gonna lie it's, it's basic there's there's nothing added to this card it is a uh, as standard as can be which isn't ideal um do we have a three-point shoe we could put on him we do not have any nike three-point shoes which obviously would be nice but even without a three-point shoe he's still got the 85 three with gold range this card is still absolutely unbelievable. So the question now is, where does he fit? Now, Moses Malone, I've never really got along with Moses Malone that well. So I'm absolutely fine with dropping him out of the squad. But what do we do now? Uh, I think we do that. I think we go with that. And then the height and the defense on this team is unreal. We've got 7-1, 6-11, 6-9, 6-8 in Kawhi. And then obviously if we had Luka here, be a 6-7 Luka. That team's looking pretty damn scary. And the reason that I've made these pickups, you might be thinking like, well, you sold Luca because you didn't want to run with Unlimited. And, you know, Luca right now is coming in at, let's have a look. Oh, we can't get any gauge of price there. Well, this one, about 300k. So it's actually not too bad. Has this one got clamps on it? Uh, No, it does not. Um, yeah, the reason is we've got to do a game here of Unlimited for win the weekend and we've got to do two games of Unlimited down here for play in Limited Group 1. Um, and I guess I'm just trying to keep things exciting, trying to keep things fresh for myself more than anything. Like Limited this weekend, this has kind of been like, oh god, I really don't want to play that. So I'm like, if I want to play some 5v5, I want to have some nice, new, fun, exciting cards to use. AK and Giannis definitely tick those boxes. And of course, along the way, we can do their XP. You know, Andre Kirilenko, one steal each of the offline, easy. 90 points over multiple games, easy. Three dunks with Giannis in multiplayer games, and 90 points with Giannis. I mean, that, that's so simple. That's 1,600 XP for each of them, so that's 3,200 XP in total. And straight away, that could get us level 32, just doing those two guys' challenges. So I don't mind that at all, and I feel like I've got really good prices on them. In terms of Giannis, he does need a few badges. He needs Deadeye and Range Extender and Hot Zone... Not Range Extender. Deadeye, Hot Zone Hunter and Flexible, I think. Or he might have one of those three. He's got Hot Zone Hunter. Okay, so he needs Deadeye and he needs Flexible. Now, I did try and buy one with those badges on them. And I also tried to buy one that, uh, that had a Kobe 6 show on it. But they were going for well over... 450,000 MT, which is a lot. Now, obviously, I paid like 90k less than that, so could I badge this card out in 90k? Uh, yes, I reckon I could. We can get the gold, well, not gold dead eye, we can get silver dead eye for 5k, we can get bronze dead eye for less than that, so you're looking at about, well, that's 10k. Okay, you're looking at about 20k to get no dead eye. Yeah, 20k to get no dead eye up to gold, and then in terms of flexible release, I think this might be a little bit bad as well. That's actually not looking too shabby. I don't mind that at all. Oh, I don't mind that at all either. Silver one, don't don't screw me here. Nice. Oh, that's fine. Okay, well, I think we'll probably go ahead and badge out this uh, this Giannis then. Why the hell not? I did not expect them to be this cheap. Now that they are, I'm more than fine with that. In terms of diamond shoe, like I said it would be nice to get a three-point shoe on him. But uh, I'm not I'm not going for the Kobe 6s, man. They're, they're, they're incredible. But they're just so expensive. I can't bring myself to do it. Oh, hello, Snipe. Oh, hello, Snipe. Live on camera as well. Oh, oh, 2K, you're too kind. 800 MT right there. So that saves quite a bit of MT. So we're actually going to get him gold flexible for 5K. Well, that was pretty straightforward. So gold flexible costs us 5K. So our total cost for this Giannis right now is 370K. So 370K for one with gold flexible. 
And then dead eye right here. So at 370. This is going to put us about 375 after we pick up this bronze dead eye. Really? There were so many for 5k. Uh, you know what? Sure, whatever. So that's going to put us at 375. Silver one. That's going to put us at 380. And then this is going to put us at 390k. So 390k with gold dead eye and gold flexible. Are you mad at that, man? Oh, 9k on the dot. Easy life. Thank you very much indeed. There's obviously a few other uh, playmaking badges that could be added to him. But he's not going to be handling the ball that much for me, I don't think. I mean, he might be. You know, it's Giannis. And you know, guys know that previous years in 2Ks and Giannis's, we have used pretty much all of them. And we have loved pretty much all of them. The pink diamond Giannis that came from the spotlights last year, we used that card for so many months. We had that, t that card in our team for since December when he came out until at least March. It was there for a long damn time. And then the takeover Giannis came out last year. We bought that one. Then the goat Giannis came out. We bought that one. Uh, Giannis got, oh, the point guard one as well. The point guard, pink diamond Giannis. That was incredible. So we've always ran with Giannis cards, or Giannis cards. Um, and I kind of want to make sure that trend continues. Giannis is always one of the best cards in 2K. And now we've got him. And now this team looks ridiculous. It looks scary. And I'm actually quite in, quite not happy, but like excited to go into Unlimited, I guess, if anybody's ever said that in their lives, which I don't think they have. So we'll be testing him out and AK tomorrow. If they're really, 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 really incredible, then uh, I guess we'll badge him out a little bit more. Let's actually try and find ourselves quickly a Diamond Nike three-point shoe that isn't a Kobe 6 shoe. Um, so the KD13 PEs, they are expensive. Expensive as well, man. I, I don't think there is a cheap one. There's a three. Ah, oh, the Kobe, uh, Kobe Elevens. Acceleration, three point shot, and steal. I'm not mad at that. The pass accuracy and pass perception is so useless. I don't really care. Kyrie Fives, driving dunk, three point stamina, hustle. It. Oh, it's bad. I think I'd rather have the Kobe Elevens over that. So you can get one for reasonably cheap. Air Force Maxes, mid-range three and stamina. Ooh, I think we're going to go for that. I think we're going to go for the Air Force Max twos. I think that'll do us for for a cheap cheap and cheerful shoe. Like I said, I could go for something a lot more expensive, but I, I just I just don't want to. I don't want to spend... I know I've got 1.4 mil, boys, but I don't want to spend 80k on a shoe, which I'm not going to get any return for. Well, I will get some return for it if I sell him, but we'd just end up losing MT, and I ain't trying to do that, man. I ain't trying to do that. Setting in with a diamond three-point shoe, even if it's not Kobe, is still going to get us back some MT if we do decide to sell this card. We probably will sell this card at some point, but I want to try as many cards as I can this year, just like we did last year. And uh, yeah, this Giannis, when he came out, I was like, yeah, I want to try that. Obviously, we would have bought him to put half range on him, but he couldn't hold half range, which still triggers me to this day. So we had to use our half range on Kareem. And knowing my luck, they'll probably drop a Giannis that can hold half range and uh, that card will probably then sell for like 2 million MT instead of the 1 million MT that we got for our Kareem. Right, let me just scroll over to the end and we'll pick up a shoe. All right, so there we go. We got one for 11,000 MT. So I think in total we can say we've got a three point, a diamond three point shoe, gold flexible and gold uh, dead eye on a Yarnis for 400k. I'm all right with that. So now mid range 97 Three point shot, 88. Stamina 97. I like that. I like that a lot. So there we go, boys. About a five, 600k spending spree today. Feels good, man. Always feels good to spend the MT. We've got a lot of it, but you got to enjoy yourselves and you've got to splash out every now and then. So that's going to do it from me today, boys. Make sure you come through to Twitch tomorrow. Where we'll be giving away one Demar Rosen, and I will be asking why I've been given three, because... Um, to me, that is very, very confusing. But anyway, come through to Twitch, twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover, 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. I'll see you guys there. Hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.